This video is brought to you by Honey. Honey is a free browser extension that automatically finds and applies the best promo codes whenever you shop online. It works on over 37,000 websites such as Amazon, eBay and the Razer store. It works on practically anything. Honey has saved me quite a bit of money when shopping online for Razer products as well as LED light strips. Honey has over 10 million members and saves users an average of $28.61. There's literally no reason not to add the Honey browser extension to your browser today. It's free to use and installs in just two clicks. You can get Honey for free at the first link in the video description. Hello everyone, I'm Em. Welcome back to Tech Block. Today we're going to be doing a full cable management tour, going over how I cable managed this entire setup here, and then if we have time I'll try to go over how we cable managed this setup here as well. With all that said, let's jump straight into it dude, beginning where everything is powered in this setup that is. So, we begin next to my bed. We have a socket here. This powers the PC, which is sitting over there in the corner. And then we have this socket over here. This powers an extension lead. Now excuse the cable management back here, but that extension lead from there goes all the way uh, into this thing. We have a six socket, really high quality, really, really good power extension lead here that powers pretty much everything in the setup apart from the PC, of course. Now, as for what's actually like powered in this section, we have a Philips Hue bed that requires an LED strip. We have smart Wi-Fi curtains over here as well. And then we have a security camera there. And as for all the other bits and pieces, uh, they mainly go from here all the way down there to another extension lead, which then goes to another extension lead, which is uh, beneath the desk, which we'll get to in a moment. Now the cable management here is pretty bad, it's pretty hideous, but it's kind of out of sight and no one really, you know, sees that part of the setup, I guess. By the way, I should probably mention this radiator isn't on, it's never used, it's never ever turned on. If I ever need to warm my room up, I'll just like launch Adobe Premiere or something on this PC and uh, it'll warm my room up real, real quick. Anyway, as for this plastic cable channel, you can probably just see there, there are a few cables kind of going into this thing. Now we have an ethernet cable. If you're wondering where on earth the ethernet cable comes from, it comes from uh, over there. You can see me in the, in the mirror there as well, but uh, right here we have a router and there's a 15 meter long ethernet cable that goes all the way there and then into the PC of course. So this plastic cable channel houses like three, four cables that go all the way here behind this subwoofer here which also has a Philips Hue LED strip behind it and then you can kind of just see there we have another power extension lead with I believe that's a two socket one so we have a two more power extension leads powered by that thing right so we have a uh, six socket one here that's uh, not Wi-Fi not smart or anything it's just a you know a simple power extension lead that has six sockets and then over here we have a smart Wi-Fi enabled power strip that also has four USB ports. That is pretty cool. So uh, I've plugged in all my monitors into this one here as I can then turn these monitors off via my Amazon Echo or an app on my phone. And I can also turn them off individually by just turning off, you know, that socket and that socket, for example. So it's a very, very handy piece of kit. By the way, I should probably mention everything in the setup, including all of the power extension leads and stuff. I'll try to leave down below in the description for you in case you want to go buy them yourself. I'll try to link everything I can, but if I miss anything, just let me know down in the comment section down below. And I'll try to give you a link to whatever product you're talking about. Back to the power strips though. So we have this one here powering the monitors and uh, this one here powering pretty much everything else. Now we do have an extension lead going from this guy into this guy. We have a whole little setup here for the Razer wireless charger. Now this wireless phone charger has an LED light beneath it that uh, when you put your phone on there, it kind of flashes green twice. Come on, there we go. Flash is green, your phone starts charging, and then it goes into like a crazy wave effect mode. So that's the wireless charger, but I can easily turn that wireless charger off by just pressing the smart plug here, or using an app on my phone, or you know, my Amazon Echo, for example. So I've just gone ahead and turned off the wireless charger. I can turn it back on really easily by pressing that. It comes back on. So that's kind of one thing that I have that's connected to a smart plug. And then as for all the other devices that are powered beneath the desk, we have this soundbar here. This is the Soundblaster X Katana. We have an Amazon Echo Spot, which is basically, you know, an Amazon ALEXA. And then behind the monitors here, we have three Philips Hue play bars. I made a dedicated video all about those guys. I'm pressing the card right now if you want to go learn more about that. I've also just got myself some Nanoleaf Aurora light panels. So they're kind of hung up here. We have this LED strip here. And then we also have the main desk LED strip there that kind of goes around the entire desk. So there's a, a lot of LED lighting mainly being powered by that power strip and also that power strip there. So yeah, pretty much all the powers kind of going towards LED lighting. Uh, but yeah, 
it is what it is. Anyway, I should probably explain more in detail how the cables go from here all the way up to everything else. Now, I've gone ahead and used a bunch of Velcro cable ties here to kind of tie all the cables down to my table leg, uh, just to kind of, you know, keep them out of sight and keep them nice and hidden. So we have a few white cables here. This is mainly power strips, power cords, an ethernet cable and stuff, and then a few other bits and bobs as well. But as you can see, all of these cables are pretty much tied down to this table leg via some Velcro cable ties. Link in the description, of course, to all the cable management accessories used in this video. Taking a look further up, we also have a bunch more Velcro cable ties. I've used uh, quite a lot of them just to kind of keep all the cables nice and tight up near the top of the desk so that you know when you're up here you can't really see the cables at all if you get what I mean and then as you can see here some of the cables go up this leg and towards you know the power strips and stuff and you know whatever they need to go to and then the other cables mainly like you know all the peripherals and stuff go from here they're all grouped together and they're also grouped again together right there by another velcro cable tie and the, all the cables kind of go up and into the PC there so as you can see all of the cables just kind of go along here and you know into whatever device they need to go into. I do also have a few holes drilled in my desk. We have a hole right here for my mouse and mouse mat combo. The hole kind of terminates you know right there so the mouse and mouse mat keyboard is completely hidden away and then if we look a little bit to the side here we have another hole and also a whole lot more cables that I'll get to in a second. So we have another hole drilled in this desk primarily for this keyboard but I've also routed this RGB mouse mat wire through the Elgato Stream Deck as well as the Razer wireless charger. The Razer wireless charger of course does have a cable you can see it right there and it kind of goes you know beneath the stream deck beneath the keyboard and straight into the hole in the desk as for these other cables here they go into a usb extension hub here so we have two standard micro sd card readers here as well as a full-sized usb type c uhs2 full-size sd card reader this one's basically like three times the speed of these so it's it's, it's very fast but yeah all of these cables go from here and into the PC over there. By the way, we have another USB extension hub here. This one's from Anchor, and that one's from a company called Sabrent, I believe. Link in the description to both of those, of course. And uh, this one here, I believe, powers my microphone, the RGB extended mouse mat, as well as the underglow lighting beneath the keyboard here. As for the cables not beneath my desk, we have the Nanoleaf Aurora light panels here, which of course do need a cable, you know. There's a lot of LED lighting here, so we do need a cable to actually power all these guys. So we have this thing right here, and uh, this cable, you know, goes down here. We have the power adapter there. It's not the prettiest side here, I'll be honest. But, uh, you know, you don't really look behind the monitor, so it's kind of all good. And, uh, I, like, I might try to improve this in the future, but for now, I think this is more than acceptable. I've kind of, like, wrapped all the cables around so that, you know, you don't see anything really dangling beneath there or anything. So it's all good, man. But to put it simply, this cable goes into that, and then, you know, it gets powered beneath there. As for the monitor arms and all the monitor cables, because we have three monitors here, uh, let's take a look back here and, you know, get you a better idea of what on earth is going on here. So each monitor, you know, has two cables coming out of it and they are somewhat nicely cable managed. I've used a bunch of Velcro cable ties to group them together here so that, you know, you can't really see the cable when you look beneath the monitor. And then the cables are also kind of Velcro cable tied to the monitor arms as well. So the cables for this monitor as well as that monitor are wrapped together via Velcro cable ties, of course, wrapped to the monitor arm and, you know, they go over there. Both this monitor as well as this one here use identical monitor arms which of course are clamped down to the table right here. As for the middle and main display over here, this is not on a monitor arm and I feel like it doesn't really need to be. So if you can see anything here at all, uh, basically the cables go from there and they go from here and they go from this monitor of course and pretty much all of those cables come out of like this region here I suppose, you know, the monitors get powered and then all the DisplayPort cables go over to the PC over there into the graphics card. Also my uh, Razer Chroma mug is telling me to drink. There we go, we can put that down there again. But yeah, that's pretty much how I've cable managed this entire setup. It's a very, very simple process, mainly just used a few plastic cable channels as well as a whole load of Velcro cable ties to tie all of the cables together. And as you can see, the end result doesn't look too bad. Like you really have to get quite low to begin seeing the cables, which I'm very, very pleased about. And I'm sure you also hopefully think that this looks, you know, pretty good for cable management. It's not the most organized cable management, that's for sure, but it looks absolutely amazing. By the way, beneath the desk, you may have also seen this device here, and you may be like, what the hell is this, dude? Why is this beneath your desk, man? Well, that is a Philips Hue motion sensor. I've set up that motion sensor to automatically turn off pretty much everything here after 20 minutes of no motion activity. So, you know, if I leave the house more than 20 minutes or just leave the setup alone for more than 20 minutes, everything will pretty much turn itself off. Now by everything, I'm talking about all of the Philips Hue LED strips and LED lights in this setup will turn off. The PC will go to sleep by itself 
and the Nanoleaf Aurora light panels, I've set them up with if this then that, so whenever I leave this location, you know, on the GPS, I guess, like through my phone, uh, they will turn themselves off as well. And when I'm back at the house, they'll turn themselves on automatically. So I've kind of set up a few like basic if this then that commands with the Nanoleaf Aurora light panels and stuff. But uh, yeah, I think that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, hopefully you kind of learned something today and maybe you can be inspired to improve your own kill management in your own setup. And uh, hopefully this has given you a few ideas on how you can go about improving, you know, said cable management. Just invest in a few Velcro cable ties. They're very, very cheap. And you'll be on your way to having a very neatly cable managed gaming setup, just like mine, I guess. But, you know, thank you all so much for watching. Links in the description down below to everything I talked about today. And hope to see you in another video soon. Goodbye.